Hello, I'm Mrs Jones and I'm Head of RE at St Richard Gwynn. So I just want to spend a couple of moments talking to you about the religious studies course that we offer here for A-Level. At A-Level here we study Christianity, philosophy and ethics. And it is a really engaging course and an engaging qualification. We invite you to think deeply, um, to get confused about things, to question everything, um, and to create critical views on things. It's a highly academic course, and it's really, really useful for lots and lots of university courses. So if you're thinking about going into teaching or youth work or journalism, uh, the prison service, the civil service, government, medicine or law, then this is a course that you should give serious consideration to. As I said, it encourages you to develop an interest in philosophy, so thinking about the meaning of life, what are we here for, why do we exist? Ethics, so why do we make decisions? How do we know what's right, what's wrong? And key fundamental beliefs in Christianity. We encourage you to adopt an inquiring, critical and reflective approach to the study of religion. So I'll talk to you a little bit more about that in a second, some of the topics that we cover. But also as well, we hope that you reflect and develop your own attitudes, your own opinions uh, and your own values. So these are, as I said, the course is split into three parts, philosophy, ethics and Christianity. And these are some of the things that we study throughout the course. So some of the questions in philosophy, why do people believe in God? How was the universe created? Was it the Big Bang? What created the Big Bang? Why is there suffering in the world? If God exists, why is there suffering in the world? What is a miracle? Are religious people actually experiencing God or are they just having a mental, uh, a mental illness or a psychotic episode? And then in ethics, we look at things like how do we know what's good and bad? Are we actually free to make our own choices or is everything predetermined for us? Is it always possible to do the most loving thing? How do we even know what that is? And is it okay to have a polyamorous relationship, so to have more than one husband or wife? And then in Christianity, we look at feminism. So, is God a woman? Why do we call God Father? Should religion give to charity? Or is it somebody else's responsibility? Should women be allowed to be priests? What really happens at Christmas? So, if you've studied the GCSE, You'll have touched on that a little bit, looking at the, the different birth narratives. But what really happens in that story? It is, uh, here are the assessments for you. So in year 12, you'll have two assessments, two exams. One is based on Christianity and the other one is philosophy and ethics. And in year 13, there's three separate exams. So Christianity, philosophy and ethics. And then your course requirements. Um, we expect everybody to have a minimum of a grade C in English and a grade B in religious studies. And the reason for that is it's um, a really great discussion-based course, but there is a lot of essay writing involved. So we want you to be somebody who um, loves writing, uh, has an open mind and a great attitude and be prepared to argue. Okay. So if you've got any more questions, please get in touch with the school. Thank you.